There's one very simple reason why so many remakes and remasters have been released these last few years. To be as good as the old classics, you literally have to be the old classics. For the most part, they've been a great success, especially 2018's Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy by Toys for Bob. A game so brilliantly executed, the developer was rewarded with the chance to continue the story with a fourth installment. Fans, stunned at seeing the franchise slowly collapse like a flan in a cupboard, suffered through games like Insanity, Crash of the Titans, and Mind Over Mutant. They've waited 22 years for the real Crash Bandicoot 4, and by God was it worth it. By delicately combining the old with the new, Crash 4 gives today's gamers a revamped and thorough update of a tired and tested formula, while the most ardent Crash fans get a challenge like no other. Because of this, and so many other reasons, the fittingly titled Crash Bandicoot 4, It's About Time, may be the best Crash ever made and one of the greatest modern-day platform games. Crash 4 makes a stunning first impression. In the space of its introductory 10 minutes, the game combines a long, ever-evolving landscape with numerous mechanics and a half a dozen camera angles, showcasing all the elements that made Crash Bandicoot's past so wonderful. It also gives you a taste, but only a taste, of what to expect throughout the game. The graphics are smooth and incredibly detailed, lighting is exceptional, the color scheme is less garish but still bright and attractive. The camera is more pliable, reactive, and anticipatory. Changes to perspective never upset the flow of the game. Most importantly, little touches make Crash's dominion feel like a living, breathing world. Whether it's a few scuttling rats or flickering light behind a window. Crash himself gets the biggest makeover. He now has in-game facial expressions and reactionary body movements that give the wordless protagonist more character than ever before. The first stage also lines up the story perfectly. Neocortex and Entropy, who are banished after the events of Crash Bandicoot Warped, use Uka Uka to escape and launch an assault on the entire multiverse. Thankfully, Crash, Coco, and other special guests aim to save the day by reuniting four quantum masks, which bend reality in all new, incredible, game-defining ways. As soon as you get your first mask, you just know this game's gonna be wicked. Before you get down to the business of playing, the game asks whether you would like retro or modern rules. The first is straightforward. You have the classic loadout of lives, topped out every time you collect 100 wampa fruit, and once you run out, you start to level from the beginning. Modern mode, however, avoiding the life system entirely, and <laughs> wampa fruit becomes currency in a different way. With this approach, Toys for Bob pulls off the seemingly impossible. Whichever mode you choose, it doesn't change the difficulty or rewarding dynamics of the game. Three of the six completion gems for each level are pegged to percentages of wampa fruit. One is hidden, another is linked to level deaths, which now has its own counter, and there's the classic 100% of crates rule. This dual option is undoubtedly down to Crash Wars much longer levels, which are perhaps the biggest strength of the new outing. They provide a bigger challenge for retro players, while those who are newer to the series won't feel cheated out of each stage's carefully curated experience. Luckily, retro mode offers balance with more Wampa Crate. Checkpoints give apples, Bounce crates give double their usual loadout, and the Peach Light Wonder Fruit is generally more plentiful throughout each level. The fruit's homing mechanism is also way more forgiving. However, it does come at a cost. If you're not a completionist and you're playing Crash 4 casually, Modern Mode renders Wumpa Fruit and even bonus stages redundant because it's usually so integral to staying alive. In a sense, it's a clever ploy by Toys for Bob. Even if it's not intentional, this less pressured experience makes you want to play by the old rules when you can, and if a level gets too difficult, you can seamlessly switch modes to give yourself a better chance of progressing. Crash Bandicoot 4 has completely overhauled gameplay to feel more realistic, but it doesn't affect the core game. Fan service is thoroughly paid, but enhancements, whether large or small, are consistently spectacular and cleverly deployed. There are other little helping hands along the way that make Crash Bandicoot 4 feel so much more enjoyable. The biggest of these, perhaps, is the reticle on the floor to show your position. Toys for Bob's insane overhaul famously tied collision detection to Crash's small feet and not the PS1 square hitbox, adding a whole new level of difficulty. This minor addition goes a long way in trickier sections. Elsewhere, you need less luck to spin one enemy into another, courtesy of a nice homing mechanism. The jet ski sections are more responsive and feel entirely down to skill, not luck. 
enemy patterns are a little more forgiving, and difficulty spikes are more predictable as those long levels unfurl. You're never stumped. The game encourages you to learn as you progress, and initially confusing concepts soon become second nature. Additional characters come with their own mechanics, notably Tana, whose largely optional missions stitch beautifully into the wider game's tapestry, giving a story description and a hell of a lot of fun. The masks themselves, which are the stars of the show, offer well-thought-out powers. Level design for all of these, including Crash and Coco themselves, is consistently complementary. It's almost impossible to find fault aside from the occasional brutal section that comes out of nowhere. But that's a typical Crash Bandicoot. Hmm. For sadists, flashback tapes unlock the spoke stages seen through the CCTV lens of a younger Dr. Cortex running tests on a lab rat Crash, and they're hilariously punishing. Bosses too can be a handful, but they maintain the classic sensibilities of Crash. Each one builds on the original game's boss mechanics by unwinding with ever more difficult twists. As with the rest of the game, the attention to detail is insane. As Crash Bandicoot 4 rightly states, it's about time. And as with its upturn in fortunes, we think that this iteration of the series more than deserves an upstanding 8 out of 10. Way to go, Crash. We love you.